Hi, LRT sports fans. Um, I'm Sydney, and I'm here with some of the Oregon Tech soccer team members. Um, to give a little introduction, I'm here with Noah Pham, Jake Mitchell, and Riley Combs. Noah Pham is a winger on the Oregon Tech men's soccer team. He is from Irvine, California, and is graduating in the fall of 2022 with a biology health science degree and a chemistry minor. Um, Captain Jake Mitchell is a senior on the Oregon Tech soccer team. He plays center mid and is a mechanical engineering student. Jake is from Temecula, California. He was named Cascade Collegiate Conference Defense Player of the Week. And Riley Combs is a junior on the Oregon Tech soccer team and is from Oregon City, Oregon. He plays center back and was recently named Conference Defense Player of the Week. He is also captain alongside Jake Mitchell this year. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to get started with some of the questions. So the first question is, what are your athletic goals? Um, so I say as a team, we're looking to, to win our conference right now. You know, we're nine and one, three games to go. So if we win three games, we're conference champions. Yeah. Definitely. You guys have been doing great, which is awesome. Yeah. I hear that you guys have been, uh, this is like the first year in a while that you guys have really done, you've done well. Yeah. Yeah. We play the number two team this Friday, and it's probably going to be the biggest game of our season. So wow. That's that awesome. beating them would be a goal. Yeah. Yeah. I think this weekend is like the set to top three. Like for, because mm -hmm. SAU is also playing, they also tied for second place. Mm -hmm. So this, wow. this weekend is pretty big. All right. Good luck to that. You guys got it. I think you guys are doing awesome. That's Thank great. You. Um, next question is How long have you been playing soccer? Um, I've been playing for 17 years, so like I just started, I started when I was five, so I'm 22. Yeah, I also started when I was five. I tried to play rec when I was four, but they don't let you start until you're five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started when I was four. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. That's a long time <laughs> for soccer. <laughs> Definitely. Um, when did you know you wanted to play in college? Um, I didn't really, really know. It was more of like, uh, I could potentially do it. And then I just started like working more and trying, and, like trying to get better working on my own, like probably sophomore year of high school. And then, yeah, from there on, I just kind of like tried to get recruited and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think I knew I was good enough, um, in high school. So I just started reaching out to coaches and um, eventually one got back to me. And so they wanted me on their team, and here I am. Yeah, I think, like, club starts to get serious, like, when you're, like, 13, 14 years old. That's when you start to realize, like, who might have it in them and who might not. And then, yeah, freshman, sophomore year of high school, you start reaching out to coaches. So right around that, I'd say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The same thing for me, too, is kind of, like, high school and then seeing if I could get offers and wanting to go. Yeah. Definitely. Um, have you ever been burnt out? And if so, how did you handle it? Um, so I feel like this past season got delayed from COVID, um, but we still trained through fall. And then, so we had a fitness packet through summer, trained through fall, fitness packet through winter, and then played in spring. And it was like a full year, no breaks. So I feel like at the end of that, I was a little bit, I was a little bit burnt out, and I think it's good to just, like, take your mind off the game for a week. Just don't think about it. You know, don't watch soccer or whatever sport you're, you're playing. Um, and then, say, just focus on other aspects of your life for that one week or two, and then you start to feel it again after that, and you get right back into it. Yeah, that's a good answer, because that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I do. And then when I go to practice and I don't want to be there, I kind of just focus on having fun rather than playing well. and it, it helps me. Definitely. I mean, I started to kind of feel burnt out like freshman, sophomore year, just because I like had this whole thing where I was supposed to redshirt and then I ended up playing and then I got super sick for like three months. I just, my season kind of got ruined and then the next year kind of got ruined too. So yeah. Yeah, it's a great answer. Just stepping back for a second, knowing that you started this to have fun. Me too, exactly. I just look at it as you're supposed to be having fun and not, it's not just a chore or something you have to do. Um, next question is, 
how was your recruiting process? Um, uh, so I knew that I wanted to go into engineering, um, like probably junior year of high school. And so I just started reaching out to schools that had mechanical engineering and men's soccer, um, which don't, aren't actually common together in a school. Um, so that left a lot of the big D1s and a lot of NAIs. And so it just, it started with emailing all of those schools and then seeing who replied and then going out. You know, going after those schools. Um, for me, I reached out to the head coach here at the time, and um, I eventually got an email back inviting me to come down to the campus. So then I came, I practiced the team, I stayed overnight in a uh, in a dorm with one of, one of the guys, um, and I liked it, so I came down here. Yeah, for me, it was, I didn't really know this school existed. It was like, I like saw a website and then, uh, just like kind of like brushed it off and then end up getting like an email from the coach like inviting me down for like training and like stuff so I came down and I, know, I really enjoyed it and stuff but I really like the weather here everything, everything just perfect for me like the school in general so yeah it's good you guys looked at like the school too and not just your sport which is a big thing I think athletes yeah. have to know to do when looking at schools um what advice would you give to a younger version of yourself starting the recruiting process um, I'd probably say start earlier. I think I really started reaching out in my junior year of high school and any chance of like playing at a, any level in D1 is kind of gone by then. They have their recruiting done so early. I'd say start earlier and then um, take care of my body more. I had lots of injuries early in high school and so that prevented me from reaching out to coaches. Yeah, um, I didn't, I didn't realize I wanted to play college until uh, probably like junior, senior year, kind of like Jake. And if I had started earlier, you know, maybe I could have put in more work and maybe I could have gone higher, but I'm happy where I am too. So. Yeah, I kind of say with me, I wish probably start like realize I want to play college earlier and then start reaching out more and like, like training on my own more and doing all that just to get better on my own. But I mean, this school is also good, so yeah. I feel like those are great points. Um, how was your transition from high school to college sports? Uh, mine was pretty easy. I, I, li I like being away from my family and stuff. So like the being away from it, like I wasn't like homesick or anything. So that was easy. And then just from like from high school to college, my high school was pretty hard. So like academics wise, I wasn't really struggling too much. And obviously college, like, it's just like a different pace when you play soccer. Just like the level just like really increases. And so just getting, try, trying to get used to that early, you know, it was, it was kind of difficult and like tiring on the legs. But after like a week or two, it gets, it gets pretty easy. Or not easy, but like you get used to it. Yeah, on my transition, it was really difficult for me. I went from, I don't know, my high school wasn't very good. And I was one of probably like the best players on it. So then going from a place where I was really good and better than everyone to college where I was one of the worst players on the team my freshman year was well I don't know it was, it was kind of like a gut check I guess and I didn't really expect it but yeah uh, I think for me there was a little bit of a shock like the first week or two just being alone in the dorms I don't think I had spent like more than two nights away from my family until college um, but I think that's the good thing about being on like a college sports team is that does become your family after a few weeks. Um, so that definitely helped. And then like soccer wise, I'd say just the intensity of the game bumped up a lot from high school to college. It's, it's a totally different beast. Exactly. It's a big adjustment, especially from high school to college athletics wise, but then being away from home and making new friends. I as well like have an awesome team where I can just, they can be my family when I didn't have anyone at first. Yeah. Those are definitely great points. Um, did you know about LRT sports in the recruiting process? And if not, did you wish you did? I did not know about it. Um, I wish I did, maybe. I mean, like even like, it's kind of similar to like regular professors. I'd even really use that. So I just, I kind of just go with it, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know if I would use it. Maybe would have looked at it a couple of times, but not 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 too sure about it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't know about it, but if I was in the process of getting recruited, probably like it would help. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about it, but I would, I would have definitely used it, like, to have like that insider reviews on like coaches and stuff from players and people that know the person is is like a really good thing to know going into a recruiting process. Exactly, yeah. it is a helpful tool, and now it's out in the open, and more people are going to get to have this, which is great. Um, and my last question is, what are you most thankful for as a college athlete? Oh, I, I, I'm going to, like, I'm, I probably, probably like the team, you know, like the team atmosphere is what kind of like, you know, like freshman year was like kind of hard on me, but like the team kind of like helped me just like, there's like very, like, just like a family, you know, they're very supportive and everything and always, always like including you and stuff. So. I kind of like helped me throughout my freshman sophomore year. Yeah, that was that was gonna be my answer too. Just the whole team, the family aspect of it, like probably met my best friends. Yeah. yeah. So I hope I know them for the rest of my life, sort of thing. Yeah, definitely the brotherhood. Um, like five roommates are all five guys on the team. You know, I met my girlfriend at the school. She's also a soccer player. So it's like everything that I have in my life right now, except for my family back home is like because of the school, so. Definitely, I I would say the same. It's really nice to have a team, especially that feels like a family and you'll always have those friendships forever. Thank you guys so much, you guys really helped me out. This is great. Um, Thank you for taking so much time out of your busy soccer schedule (laughs) Um, and uh, good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.